So success looks discouragingly easy. Every year, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers puts on a competition on both coasts called the Human Powered Vehicle Challenge. And in this challenge, engineering students from across the country design, build, and race vehicles. This competition has many aspects to it. There's a design report writing paper. There's a speech that has to be given. There's an innovation that needs to be invented. There's a drag race, and there's an endurance race. My name is Alex. I'm the president of the Human Powered Vehicle team here at South Dakota State University. Last year, we went out and we were able to win the overall competition both in LA and in Pennsylvania, making us the fastest bike in the country. And when we got back from our long trip to Pennsylvania, we were met with much praise and press. We were asked to be on the news and we were put on the, the cover of magazines and we were even asked to do a TED Talk. But what the news didn't show is all the struggles that we went through. See, we weren't an instant success overnight. There was years that went into it. Little do people know, this was actually our fifth bike that we built over the past four years. So today I wanna to kinda of walk through our old bikes and I wanna show you all the mistakes and all the bad things that happened on our way to this great success. So here you can see a picture of our first year's bike. We originally designed it to have two wheels, but there was a problem with it. None of us could ride it with two wheels. It was so unstable that we couldn't even make it 50 feet. So we had to weld training wheels onto it. And showing up to a competition with training wheels welded to your bike is never good. So um, this bike, it didn't do very well. So next year we learned that three wheels is better because it's a lot easier to stay upright. But with this bike, we had the problem of drivetrain issues. So in the last event of the weekend, the drivetrain was working so badly that we had to drag it across the finishing line to try to finish. Needless to say, in that competition, we didn't do very well either. The third year's bike, we went to Las Vegas and we saw some success, but we had spent so much time making sure that the bike wasn't gonna fail that we neglected our report. And because of that, while we did get second and third overall in the two competitions, we could have done a lot better if we spent more time paying attention to the report. So our fourth bike, which was last year, the winning bike, we took everything that we learned and we put it together to make this. So it's three wheels to be more stable. We have a reliable drivetrain. We had a great report and a great team. But there was even some struggles with this bike. The night before we were doing some last minute testing and during the testing we had a catastrophic failure. So the night before the competition, we spent our whole night in the parking lot of our hotel trying to get our bike back into some form that looks close to a raceable bike. In the next competition we had a failure during the finals where one of our steering arms broke. Luckily we had a really great mechanic and we, we made the bike so that it could be fixed but having to change a major piece of the bike in the two minutes between races is not very great. So what I've learned is that on social media, we all post the highlights of our life, but then we forget that everybody else is also posting the highlights of their life. And it can be really hard sometimes when you're struggling or you're not reaching your goal as easy as you thought you could have, or you're, it's 3 a.m. and you're studying calculus in the engineering hall um, seeing that feed of everybody's perfect life can be really hard. So what the bike has taught me and 
What engineering has taught me is that everything's a lot harder than it looks. When you think a homework assignment's gonna take five hours, it's probably gonna take 10. When you write a 10 minute speech, when you say it out loud, it's usually only five minutes. <laughs> and the most important thing that I've learned is that success is not as easy as it seems. Success is discouragingly easy. Thank you.